Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how React Hook Form can make form validation pretty simple. Uh, we're going to look at a sign up form example which contains validation and gather form data on Civit. Uh, in here, I have a, a HTML mockup already set up for you guys. If you would like to work together on this example, uh, I will embed the link for the course sandbox in the description below as well. So let's install React Hook Form to start with. Make sure we install as a dependency. Cool. So now the first thing we want to do, we want to register all the inputs. So get the register method from use form. And one of the core concepts for React form is actually register each input ref uh, into React hook form. So it can subscribe and listen for the changes and validate data at the very end. So let's just quickly Register all the input ref. So we want to register this select as well. So now I believe, oh, missed this text here. I believe all the inputs have been registered. So we want to create a submit function which will gather all the data. So what we want to do is we want to get the handle submit method, then create a function call handle on submit and we were getting the data out of it and we were just gonna console that and there we go Ooh, just realize I already have a on submit function on top I'm gonna delete that so this should have bring us something pretty nice uh, let's get rid of all this if we go bill low and we hit submit and oh looks like we're still missing the name yes let's add a name to the selection as well name is important by the way because name is a unique identifier for a react hook form to register individual inputs so we want to have this as uh, as unique as well so about you so now we should be oh we don't want to register the submit button so now if we input something and then we hit submit we should get in the data out the form which is bill also gender we should give value equal oops looks like i missed some of the value for the select box cool so now it's time to apply some uh, basic validations so we can validate the form before the submission happens. One of the common things is pretty much uh, make all the fields required. So we're just going to quickly do that. Uh, for React Hook Form, we are using standardized of uh, HTML validation attributes. So things like require, it's it's uh, it's pretty much out of the box for React Hook Form. So now if you try to submit this form, it will straight away auto focus to the arrow. Fill. So you can go build and then you hit submit. Uh, oops. Ah, somehow it's it goes focus on the select, but that's okay. So focus on the username. Cool. Looks like validation it's working. Oh, that's why it's not focusing the right one, the last name. So now if I do this and I go submit should have focused on the very first error object cool let's try another one uh, things like minimum length so we can do minimum length say two so this will actually prevent us to sending something with one character so if I go here submit that will get focused as well okay so that's that's good but uh, we need to give the user the feedback of those error messages. So how we do that in React Perform, 
we have an arrow object which we can easily leverage. So if you go first names, and just basically go, this is required. And now if we submit the form, we should see this error message. And if you want the error message to be uh, type specific, then you can go things like the type equal required. So what this means, it's only going to show required error message. Um, so if you have something that have minimum length, but I already have filled something and I hit the submit, the validation still get triggered. But error, because since the error message is only targeting on type of required, so this message is not going to be displayed. So what we can do, we can have a separate error message just for minimum length. So we can say this fill required minimum uh, length of two. So now we have individual uh, error message for different error. So if I go A, now you see uh, it's a different error message. So let's just quickly um, do the rest of it. Um, I'm going to use some uh, shortcut from Go Sandbox. Just do it once. And we want to basically replace all the names because name is the the unique identifier of the individual fields. So you can easily do that. We should be seeing those error message in a second. Uh, we probably don't even need the type because these are the fields we only rec uh, have required validation. So we can just go uh, delete this. Cool. Now if we submit the form, let me get rid of uh, this console log doc. We should see all these error message. And the beautiful things about React form is as you type, it auto corrects the form and remove all those errors. So we can easily just clear the form and now we hit the submit button. Uh, in the console log, we should see all the fields being collected. So uh, this is pretty much uh, the basic usage of React hook form. Now let's do something a little bit more challenging. Say for example, if we have a field that it's uh, requires some asynchronous validation. So I have a, a predefined this method. It's basically a, a wait function for x um, x amount of seconds before the response come back. So a good example would be uh, use on the username. So if we have some kind of custom validation, let's go. Uh, we can use a, a validate function, which allow you to write uh, a function to validate, validate things. This is good for when you have some kind of custom validation. So let's give it a name called validate username, and we're going to define that function in here. So what do we want to do? We want to make this function to be asynchronous. So in the first argument of the function, would be the value of the input. So let's let's give it a wait for say one second. Uh, oh, oops. I'm gonna call the sleep for one second. Nice. And we wanna we wanna make sure if the value equal bill, then we're good. Otherwise, we return false. So we want to test this out. So if we go this, select that. Now, if I select some random name, say ASD, uh, email address, and then we hit submit. So it's actually happened asynchronously behind the scene. Notice this, there is one second delay. So now if I correct that to bill and submit the thing again, I should get a successful uh, submit, which is bill. So that's uh, asynchronous validations, customer validation in React form. There are a bunch more uh, 
attributes out of the box for React Hook form, things like um, pattern, uh, max, uh, maximum length, minimum length, all those standard constraint uh, form, AP, uh, form validation API, you can leverage them out of the box. And for something that is a bit more customized, then you should be using uh, the validate function. So I, I believe uh, I, I'm going to wrap up with this uh, quick and short tutorial. I hope you get the, um, the idea of how React Hook Form uh, utilize the ref object of your uh, inputs and validate the form in collect collecting the data for you uh, in a very nice and clean and easy way. If you find this is useful, please give a thumbs up and try it out React Hook Form. And again, thanks for watching.